Ghosts in my shell? It's more likely than you think. This is Octo Magic. Hello everyone, it's just me, Blair, again, and we're playing We Know the Devil. Uh, yeah, let's just get into it. He was pretty mad, huh? Uh, he's just an upset Bobby. He'd have been less mad if you hadn't been texting the whole time he was yelling at us. Uh, the captain will live. I thought he was gonna knock it out of your hand for a minute. Ah, oh God. I wish he would have. Hey, Ven. Hey, Venus. You got it? Venus? Venus. What? Don't zone out. Do you want to die? Uh, sorry. I thought I saw something. This diode shattered. Can you pass me a new one? Uh, Jupiter climbs up the pole to pass a new crystal to Venus. So they're doing some kind of, like, chore for... Di diodes? Neptune keeps watch, but actually she's mad because fixing the sirens is stupid and menial and there's no reason they should have to do it. Okay, so they're, so they're trying to fix, like, sirens. Like, okay, there's a pole, the sirens on the top of the pole, I see. Neptune is keeping watch. Wait, is Jupiter, is Jupiter going up to help? Neptune refuses to participate unless we're cutting corners. Yeah, so Jupiter went up to give. Okay. Here, Venus. Oh, no. What? Oh. Oh, look who it is. What the actual fuck? Look at these dipshits. All right. We, we have to unpack this. All right. Okay. All right. Holy shit. Where do I... St Let's go left to right. Okay. So do it on the left, right? No eyes. Hair, what hair is that? Like, just fuck my shit up. Like, he parts it in a way specifically to cover his eyes, but give like maximum forehead, right? And then under his like church shirt, his like, his religious um, summer camp shirt outfit, He's wearing like, like, so is it, is it another shirt that has a fire texture or is it just like a thing on his arm, right? Like, is it, is it like one of those like fake, um, arm sleeve t tattoo things? I don't know. Dude in the middle. Holy shit. This guy, such a chad. He is like, but like, like in the way that like, you know, the, the picture of like the virgin, the chad, and the chad has like the most ridiculous fucking outfit imaginable. That's him, right? So he has his like, his, the thing is up, right? The like collar is propped up, like, like it's all edgy, but then he's like, the whole thing is open showing his own like a shirt with his own face on it who has a shirt with their own face on it what the fuck all right and then we have he's he has that open button up shirt right tucked into jorts jorts what 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 god <laughs> And so he he also wearing like a hat backwards, and it like almost like the hat backwards is like like a almost like prep, but kind of edgy thing to do. It's like an edgy prep thing, and the the propped up collar is like almost a goth edgy thing, right? So, but the shorts, the shorts, putting your collar your shirts down is like is like a nerd or prep thing but like having it all be open what is his deal who is this man um and then like the the lady on the right is actually the most normal out of all of them uh she's just like a prep because of her she's she's doing the thing with the jacket she's less interesting i mean her eyes are 
She has no nose. None of them have any noses. All right, Group South. What's your Group South voice be? Hey! 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 Uh, hey. Group South doesn't really look the same, but we can't remember their names or tell the difference between them. Oof. Uh, which is super mean of us. No wonder they hate our guts. It is a little mean. But, like, it's interesting. So the narration is all singular, and it seems like Group South is being, like, all singular too, right? They talk as, like, a group. Right? They don't get individual names, they, they're group south. You guys got the leak sirens. We got the forest sirens. You guys got the leak sirens. You check your own sirens. You guys got the leak sirens. You should leave. Okay, so they're, they're in the forest changing the forest sirens. And group south is like, no... The, we're doing these sirens. You gotta do the other sirens by the lake. Oh, uh, the bonfire captain told us these told us these ones, guys. Yeah, uh, yeah. Why are you lying to our faces? Do we look completely stupid? Yeah, that's what he said. Venus must have heard wrong. That's what he said. He said Venus would screw it up again. That's what he said. Venus sucks and should go home immediately. Wow, Group South does not like Venus. No one likes Venus. My poor baby! I love Venus. Group South does everything perfectly and is the fun- Really? <laughs> Look at their outfits! They're not even wearing, like, the mandated, like, like, uniforms correctly. This guy's wearing jorts! <sighs> the best kids in a camp for bad kids are absolutely certain to be the fucking worst. Oh, okay. Here's our first choice. So we get Venus and Neptune or Venus and Jupiter, right? Um, so these kids are like... Hmm. They're... They're... Bullying Venus. So I think that... We would want, like, a mean girl to protect, you know, quote-unquote, protect Venus. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. I'll go take care of the next one, guys. Definitely has nothing to do with the fact that I do not want to voice this character anymore. Catch up, okay? She goes, but Group South doesn't. They just watch. We can't focus on what we're doing or enjoy it while being watched by someone expecting something who won't say what and won't leave. Also, let me write down which characters I uh, picked, you know, for no reason. Definitely isn't important. Uh, Venus keeps getting distracted by the lights. Yeah, so they each seem... And Neptune is keenly aware of the pit in her stomach. There is truly nothing ruder than denying us distraction. So, yeah. So Venus is seeing lights all over the place. And Neptune is sick or something? That's interesting. God. Seriously, what do you want? Nothing. Nothing. You're cool. Nothing. He's the one in trouble. Really? I must not be, since the captain's not here. Group South stares at Venus. Venus ignores them. They can stick around if they want. We can pretend to fix this siren all night. Hey, Venus. You're taking a while. Need help? No. Captain said I could do it alone. Go away, it's distracting. Don't you have somewhere else to be? Isn't Cap'n gonna be mad if he sees you slacking off? Nah. He was pretty pissed off last time, wasn't he? Nah. We're supposed to be here. I'm just gonna do a different voice each line. Everyone was laughing. It's Venus's fault. 
Nah, we're supposed to be here. It's Venus's fault. Fuck Venus. <laughs> God, I wish. Uh, the worst thing Venus has done is not fuck up hard enough to get us all kicked out. What is your problem trying to get him to do something right when you could be doing something productive like fucking up and getting us all sent home? Yeah, ask him. Yeah, yeah, ask him. The captain doesn't like you. Hey! I don't know why he doesn't like you, but the more you try to get on his good side, the worse he'll make it for you. He doesn't need a reason. He hates it when people try to get on his good side. You... He hates it because it's like you're telling him what to do. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it? Fuck it. Nice. Yeah, go away, group south. Venus, you have to be done by now, right? Venus. Venus! Oh, yeah, I finished a while ago. What are you even looking at? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry, I'll come down. Venus climbs down from the sirens, which, which siren which crackles softly with the faint static of the radio again. It's louder than normal. God is already warning us. Ooh, so is God... Th is God also, like, just like a thing in this universe, like the devil? Like, just a casual presence on the radio? Um, what? Thanks. And, um, sorry for fucking up all the time. I literally don't care. They're idiots. They don't get it at all. They're so obsessed with you, it's so weird. They hate me, though. <sighs> Obviously. Is that supposed to make a difference? Does it not? Ugh, God. I really wish you would fuck up so bad, even the captain hated you. It'd be a good look for you. Oh. But I don't think I actually could? Mess up on purpose, I mean. It's literally as easy as doing nothing. I know. Sometimes it feels harder to not do something than to do something. I wish I was a little like you. You deal with this stuff so easily? Venus. Yes? You're never allowed to think I have it better off than you. Ever. It's the worst thing you can do. Oh. I'm sorry? Sometimes I kind of envy you, Venus. And other times, I really kind of don't. Cool. 8pm. Wow. This is going, going quick. Going through time. The road there is through the woods, but not far. Uh, we follow the sirens to where they're covered in vines, and their lights don't work so well anymore. Hmm. Um. It's fine. It's fine. We still can't quite believe it's a house humans are supposed to spend a night in. It has electricity, unbelievably. And also illegally, means it could likely burn it down and kill everyone. <sighs> uh. What is it? I'm trying to think of something positive to say, but uh, I can't. It's a work of actual art. I'm truly impressed. In all, in all kinds of ways. Seriously, I'm in awe. No ordinary idiot built this cabin. An ordinary idiot would have given up long before this. It takes a truly extraordinary idiot to keep at something he has no idea how to do. I pray we never have to meet him. Hmm. What? I was just thinking. It's like guaranteed the captain built it, right? Oof. If you tell a joke with a face that straight, someone impressionable like Venus is going to believe you and be terrified for the rest of their life. I'm t I'm totally serious. Can't you imagine how proud the captain would be of himself? He'd never think he was doing a single thing wrong, right? That's like a half a dozen horrifying shacks here. He must have had so much fun. 
God, hold me, please. You chilled me to the depths of my soul. Ha ha ha. Jupiter snaps her hair tie against her wrist. Fucking stop it. No. Self-harm bad. D get therapy. <sighs> There's something wrong with the lock. Is it br- Is it- Is it broken? I don't hear any static. It really is broken. Wait, okay, so static is like a thing, apparently. That's important to know. That's so dangerous. No one would leave it unlocked like that, would they? No, they wouldn't. Uh, they could have broken it and not told anyone. That'd, ju that'd just be like Group East. I think Group South was here last? Or them, or anyone. They're all jerks who'd rather let the next group take the fall and fix it. So what does it matter which one it was? Take the fall. What fall? The crystal and whisker looks fine. It looks like someone tried to tape it together, but it must have come loose. It could have already been like this. But this kind of charm doesn't break that easily, I don't think. You just need to make sure the wire is securely touching the... Galena? What the fuck are they talking- They're talking about a lock, right? What's a Galena? Alright, alright, Google. What's a Galena? What's a Galena, Google? Galena. Galena, also called le lead glance, is the natural mineral form of lead sulfide. It is the most important ore of lead and an important source of silver. Galena is one of the most abundant and widely distributed sulfide materials. It crystallizes in the cubic crystal system, often showing octahedral forms. Uh, okay. Cool. Jupiter relaxes slightly. She is more worried about the devil than any of us, but all of us are worried. Jupiter's worried about the devil. Hmm. So not that worried. Humans are much more likely to kill you than the devil is, statistically. Ooh, okay, alright. So, last time, we gotta, let's do... Uh, we should, yeah, we should do something with Jupiter. Um, mm, let's go Jupiter and... Ah... Uh, Venus, so my entire jaw doesn't fall off. <laughs> Jupiter and uh, there's probably some wire in the weird little shack in the clearing out back. Oh, also Venus is good with tech, right? I I don't know if that was established, but whatever. Have fun. Yeah, it's in character. Whoa. Some cool locations. This shack is full of shelves and drawers, all neatly, man maniacally squeezed along the four walls. It's much prettier and sturdier than the one we're staying in, but it's inhumanly small. The house seems to have been built for modestly large dolls. We have to hunch over to get in, and we can't move without bumping each other. We have thought of two possibilities for how this happened. The possibility which is weird is that someone, possibly the cabin, decided to make a 0.6 scale house, or the captain, a 0.6 scale house on purpose for 0.6 humans or dolls or fun and then turn it into storage. The possibility which is scary is that someone, possibly the captain, completely finished a 0.6 scale shack before realizing his measurements were off in the first place. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. If we find the tape, can you fix it? I think so, but it's kind of worrying for it to be like that. Maybe we should call the captain. We could do that, but let's try to get it working first. I'm a little worried. I'm sure it'll be okay if I talk to him. You'll be fine, I promise. I believe in you. Wow, Jupiter does not want to ask for help. Hmm. Really? Just search that drawer, Venus. We root through drawers again. A little more intently. Are you scared of him? Got it! Oh, yay! 
That was easy. I almost have it. It's way easier than I thought. Phew. See? Nice. I'm glad. I really did want to have to go back to the captain. Huh, <sighs> yeah. Hmm. I don't know if it's really that I'm scared of him, but he does make me worry. Oh, um, he doesn't hate you or anything, I don't think. I mean, he's nicer to you than a lot of people. Why does everyone think that? He never got mad at me, but I don't like being liked by him. It makes me think there must be something wrong with me. I don't want to be the sort of person that he likes. It makes me shiver. He likes people he can make a little uncomfortable and won't give any trouble about it. Oof. 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 Like us, I guess. Exactly us. We're the only people he likes, after all. I don't think he's going to do anything terrible. No, he wouldn't, but... I don't know. Maybe he already did? Like how you don't have to touch someone to touch some. Oh my god. You know? That sounds weird. Forget it. Alright, 9pm. Yeah, I guess let's just fucking breeze past it. Why not? Let's just fucking go. We're supposed to sleep in shifts, but no one actually told us how we're supposed to do that. Who can fall asleep in an instant to wake up in an instant on demand? Not us. Jupiter is bad at waking up, and Venus is bad at falling asleep, and Neptune is fantastic at both and on no schedule but her own. Nice. Yeah, I'm good at, um... I'm good at falling asleep. I'm less good at waking up. Uh, one way or the other, sleeping sounds like too much work, so we're not going to do it. If we had one more, we could play Yurka? Yur- Yutri? Yutri? What the fuck is this game? E-U-C-H-R-E. Uh, Yurka is a trick-taking card game commonly played in Canada. So this is a Canadian game. Only there are four players, two on each team, although there are variations for from two to nine players. Oh, so they're going to make us decide who plays cards, right? That's what's going to happen? No. There's lots of things. Maybe let's not, though. I miss Yurker. Surely there has to be something better we can do with our lives. Hmm. Hmm. I'm very upset at you both. Um, what are the things normal kids are supposed to do in this sort of situation? Like... Oh. Uh, what are things normal kids are supposed to do in this situation? Like, truth or dare or something? That's a bad idea. That's a really bad idea. That's a great idea. Wait, I'm mixing up the characters. I guess it's an okay idea. Well, it's not terrible. Oh my god, these two. So next week it's like, let's fucking do it. And these two are like, uh, we, we're too conflict avoidant to change our mind. Great. Everyone agrees. It was a wonderful idea. Uh, Neptune, you go first. Why? Because of seniority? I'm the oldest, though. Then because for some other reason. <laughs> nice, Jupiter. Ooh, okay. I've been, I've been, like, making small jabs at this being, like, edgy. But this music, this music's pretty nice. Um, and on, on this note, let's, like, end the episode, I guess, because it's, like, about time. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I will see you in next week.